Hey Booge, it's Bank Bitch here, and today we're going to do this Barbie Pink Get Ready With Me kind of video, you know, it's everything, I love it, it's beautiful, I'm sure you guys right now, it's, it's amazing, I love it. As you guys know, I love pink, and so I was going to do uh, a blue cut crease, but then I was like, hey, let's do a pink one instead, because that's my favorite color. So I did, and I'm in love with it, and it's beautiful it's just be what can I say it's beautiful so if you want to know how to get this Barbie pink uh, cut crease makeup look then just keep on watching alright guys so I already primed my eyes I'm ready to go I'm ready to do this look I'm kind of scared because like to be honest I'm I like cut I love cut creases I think they're like very Sometimes they can be natural for like an everyday look, but they're also dramatic. But at the same exact time, like it's it's hard for me to do one. But like I said in an earlier video, like I finally found a way to do it. Like, like I finally found my way to do a cut crease I'm not a professional at it I just start I just started learning about it um, I've done cut creases in the past but I never knew how to stop making them crease I mean obviously go above the crease but every single time I go above the crease it still does it but I found a way to do it I know how to do it now um, I'm not a professional at it like I like I just said but I know how to do it right now. I'm going to take this Beauty Treats Matte Blush Palette that I got at... Where did I get this at? I think Bell's Outlet for $5. And it doesn't have a shade, but it looks like this. Looks like this. And I think I'm going to take this one first. Maybe this one even. Hmm. I'm going to take... What matches my shirt more? I think I'm going to take this one just to be safe. I don't know if that's going to be too dark or too light on the eyes. So let me just start with this. I'm going to take the pencil brush. And I'm just going to create my crease. The reason why I'm doing pink instead of like a brown I saw a blue cut crease and I was like I don't feel like doing blue and I'm not even wearing a blue shirt I'm not even matching so why would I do blue um but if you want me to do blue sometime I can I could always match the background with something and match with my shirt but I just wasn't in a blue vibe anyway but I love pink and I'm wearing pink and my background is pink so why not do a pink one just wait until I add everything it'll look so good um, I'm not done with the that part yet but I'm gonna move on to the lid actually and I'm gonna take my dark circle concealer in fair clear to cut the crease and I'm gonna take my little flat brush Take some concealer and just cut my crease. Now I'm going to have my head tilted back so my lid is flat and I'm going to rise my, I'm going to rise my brow a little bit, like just like do that and concentrate. <laughs> just like that and uh, obviously people have different eye shapes so whatever like it might not look like this like I'm not gonna say it should look like this because be to people have different kind of eye shapes and it might look different in other eye shapes so just cut your crease wherever you want just make sure that it won't crease during the day so wherever you like crease like I crease right here do it above that so there you go all right so now I'm gonna go in back with this small pencil brush and I'm gonna go back into the pinks and actually 
because I messed up a little bit when I was blending the concealer got a little bit up there so I'm gonna take the lighter pink and just fix that all right so first I'm going to apply this color which is from the profusion eyes palette in natural and it's this kind of pink color right here and it is called pearl yeah pearl and I'm gonna put that on a brush damp the brush and then apply it to the lid now I'm going to apply this wet and wild highlighter powder and uh, uh, the sweetest bling and I'm gonna do the same exact thing put it right on the lid damp the brush and yeah and then I'm gonna go back in this to this palette and I'm gonna take this color right here and this is on camera it does not look like what it looks like in real life it looks like a hot hot pink like it's it's really out there but I'm gonna take a little bit of it and put it right like right on the right you'll, you'll see in a minute you'll see just like that just to darken it up a little bit and now I'm going, I'm probably going to, I'm probably going to darken it up, a, a, like, later a lot, like, with the same as that hot pink color that I just used, just because, like, I feel like it needs a lot more, like, like, darkness and pow, you know? Um, but I'm going to do, what should I do, what should I do? I'm going to do my wing. Now, this is going to be a hard part for me. Because I don't want to mess up. Like, I don't want to mess up. So, scary. Alright. Let's get this. I think I'll have it. Alright. The liner that I'm going to be using is the Wet Wild H2, H2O Proof Liner in black. And it, if you want, like, a perfect sharp wing liner this is it because it's it's a felt tip and the felt tip is very sharp it's not really movable so you can just get it really like so i got the wing down all right that's good that's good that's good um now i'm going to take the manual palette i have in my hand already so might as well just take it and i'm going to take the artemis color and i'm going to put that on the brow bone just real quick while I'm here let's just do it you know now I'm gonna do um I think I'm gonna do the other side and my brows and most likely my whole face real quick and I'll be back with you guys with the bottom lash line all right guys so I'm back uh I did a matte face but a lot of glow obviously I did the same exact highlighter that I put on my lid uh, the wet and wild one just so it matched I'm going to grab the color that I put on my brow bone and I'm gonna grab this color and put it on my inner corners just like that and then I'm going to take the blush palette obviously because we're gonna smoke out the bottom lash line I have no idea how we're gonna do that because like I feel like if I do the bottom lash line like pink it'll be too much but I mean I guess it'll look good I don't I have no idea what it's gonna look like but we're gonna try it out anyway just to see like let's just see how this goes I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go in with the lighter pink the first pink that we took which is this one right here um yeah we're gonna take this one first and I'm gonna just put that on the bottom lash line I'm not gonna do the waterline yet because normally I don't do the waterline first for the bottom lash line I do the the eyeshadow and then I do the liner I'm gonna go to freaking public today and people are gonna be like, um, well, what's going on here? Very lightly, not really a lot. Um, then I'm gonna go in with, whew, this is hard. Um, it kind of looks good like that, but I kind of want it a little bit darker. I'm gonna take the second color that we took in our crease 
And I'm just going to take this and that's about it. I don't really want a lot going on on the bottom lash line. I really want the main focus to be the top. So I'm going to take that one. Just really softly. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to put mascara on the bottom lashes. I already did setting spray. I always do that before I do the bottom lashes uh, because I don't want... When I do that, when I put my mascara on um, and then put my setting spray on, it kind of transfers. The mascara transfers. And I don't want that happening. So let's just do this. Like that. Uh, not really much. I don't really want a lot of mascara down there. Um, now I'm going to do the, the, um, the waterline and I'm going to take this jumbo, this NYX jumbo eye pencil in milk and I'm just going to apply a little bit on my waterline. For the lips, I really don't want to do a lot since I'm wearing pink, a pink shirt. I don't want to have overload of pink even though i love pink i would probably definitely go for a um pink lip i just don't want to overpower the look with pink um but if you want to you can have pink or you could just have a gloss that look really cute um but i think i'm gonna go with a nude and this nude is a little bit pinky i guess it's like a mauve and it is the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Lip Color in Cream Eule. And yeah, so let me take off the stuff that's on my lips right now. And then I'm going to put on my EOS. I always do that. And then put on the lip. Okay guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this Get Ready With Me. I love this Barbie pink cut crease. I feel like this is what Barbie would wear. Like, I feel like Barbie right now, like... Mm. Like, mm, I love it. I always get, like, so excited if I love a look so much. And this... I'm a big fan of pink. I love pink, so this is, like, so good to me. If you want to see more cut creases, like, like, a lot more darker cut creases, like, black cut crease with, like, blue lid, or black cut crease with white lid, a matte one, more shimmery one, more sparkly one, then comment down below, or like this video, and I'll get that up for you guys. I'll get it up. I'll get it up. Everything will be down below in the description and also my Instagram and my Snapchat will be down below also. So go check those social medias, my social medias, and like give it a follow. And you know, like talk to me, like hit me up or something. And also hit that subscribe button so you get to see more of me. And also right on the right hand side of it, there's a bell. You hit that and you get notified every single time I upload a video. So you get to be you get to be the first one to like and comment and share. And yeah. So shit fan friends, you changes and I'll see you guys next time.